Hello, this is Elizabeth Cabeza, Screen International Spain correspondent, and I'm delighted to introduce to you our second edition of Spain Stars of Tomorrow. Ten rising actors, writers and directors who are already making a name for themselves in Spain and are ready for a broader international audience. Screen International Spain Stars of Tomorrow is a spin-off of the long-running and successful edition of UK and Ireland Stars of Tomorrow, and we're very happy to be partnering with HBO Max Spain and the Spain Film Commission for this year's showcase. We thank them for their support and we look forward to working with them again in the future. It's been a pleasure for me to choose the 10 names that are part of this edition from the rich talent landscape Spain offers. Who are these 10 stars? Let's go meet them. I had heard of a Screen International Spain Stars of Tomorrow because I followed quite a few actors who were in it last year. There was this kind of envy, jealousy, like in a, in a, in a good way. I think this is a great platform and, and I feel very privileged to be here. I feel so happy and so grateful to be here because this is a, a very good way to expand my work to other countries and other people. I feel happy to be here, especially this year, because I think that the Spanish industry has been in a very good place and I feel happy to be a part of it. Some of my friends have been in the last edition. Yeah, it sounds great. Start of tomorrow. I hope it will be like that, yeah. I lived in London for six years, so it was always exciting to see who Screen International selected. So to be included in the second edition of Screen International Starts of Tomorrow Spain feels very special. It feels really nice to have recognition after working hard. It's nice that you can finally be seen I knew the project. My agent like showed me everything and we were like super excited and this year when you called us, we were uh, super stoked. When you know they told me that they could be part of this initiative, I was super excited and very happy and I think it's also you know very helpful to networking and promote your work and be more visible. When I got the phone call from Pedro Almodovar, um, there was this this kind of feeling of, of I couldn't believe it. I was overwhelmed and the thing that I've most learned is, is, is values and how to understand people. I feel very fortunate to be able to feel these things because it, it helps you open your perspective in life. The most exciting thing of my work is to be able to live other, other lives, understand people and, and understand a little bit uh, the, the rest of the world. I like playing different characters, different lives, and exploring the world that opens in which my, myself and my character can, can relate to each other. For authors like me, uh, I think it's, it's a changing now. We've been last years in art house films and, and really personal projects and small projects. And now we have the opportunity, I, I think, to, to come back to genre and to try to develop uh, more ambitious projects. The cinema that I feel uh, closer to my heart and that I think that I want to pursue is uh, very much uh, centered in character. And I think I like combining that with a strong sense of place, having these characters be influenced by the surroundings, creating a world. My parents are actors and when I was little they always said like, oh, would you want to be an actress? And I said, no. <laughs> but then I went to theatre school and I just fell in love with playing and having fun and acting in general. And yeah, it's a great time to be an actor. I like that our, our job is super connected to the audience. Sometimes we feel like, what are we doing here, no? But in the end, when people go to the cinemas, to the theatres, to the th wherever, and they came to us and explained, ah, this happened to me, the people opens to us. And then you realise how important is our job. When you think about what makes a film international, you probably think like, OK, uh, a great cast, you know, that has been really awarded, lots of people, or this great director, and maybe it's shot in different countries. Then you think, wow, this is an international film. But on the other hand, what happened with Carla Simon, you know, that makes a uh, future in Catalan in a little village, and then it becomes an international success as well, you know. So it's very difficult to define what's an international film.